Hi friends, how are you? This is the Call Donuts speaking. Welcome back to some more Tech It Classic. And today, I'd like to start off by showing you guys how cool this new quarry setup is. I mean, look at this. The dirt is flowing through the system back towards our little house over there. It's, it's just amazing. In any case, I've been taking down this frame slowly but surely. Uh, because at first I thought I would be able to add it on to the quarry, but then when I came back over there, the quarry was done. Uh, it had been powered so quickly that all the frames had been put in. So, uh, I really don't have a need for these frames, so I'm just gonna store them away. Uh, now in any case, uh, I'm not 100% sure where to go from here, guys. I mean... I don't really know what the best course of action is because, again, one of the coolest things about this mod pack is you can produce anything you want. It's just, I'm not really sure what to produce at this point. And, uh, you know, I, I really, I really don't know. Like, here's, here's how I think we should do it though. Let's go to the default window. Now, what of these things do we think would be interesting produce, to produce? I mean, honestly, we can't produce uh, monster spawners. There's no recipe for them. Uh, but what could we produce? We can't produce sponges. Uh, we could produce dispensers. Or, I guess, um... I don't know. I think it'd be cool to produce something without using equivalent exchange for it necessarily, or at least not as the only component. So for iron ore, uh, that's probably not going to be a good choice. You know, the jungle tree industry is an interesting industry at this point. I mean, it's certainly something with high demand, considering that we're in an area with uh, all oak and birch and rubber trees. Uh, that could be a big thing that we could try to produce, just lots of jungle trees and stuff like that and have fun with it. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what, what we should do here, guys. Um, oh, there we are. So, we could go for jungle trees, we could go for, uh, leaves. I don't know, I don't know what we should do. Uh, I'm just looking at all this stuff. Um... I mean, I, I really don't know. There's a lot that we could do, certainly. We could produce potions. We could make weaponry. There's certainly a lot of options for weaponry. We could make paint brushes. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff in this mod pack. Hmm. So, here's what I'm thinking, then. Uh, say we were to do a weapons production facility, right? So we could have lots of cool weapons at our disposable, at our disposable whenever we wanted them. Uh, what we would need for that, first of all, is an automatic crafting table, right? We need one of these, and we have some of these. Uh, but we need to combine it with more build craft stuff. So... Basically, what that means is uh, we need a little facility uh, to create new weapons and stuff like that, if, if that's where we want to go with this. And I think that'd be a fun place to take uh, what we're doing here, because honestly, uh, there are so many cool weapons in this game that I've never tried. Uh, I've never tried most of the weapons in the Balkans, uh, Balkans weapon mod. Uh, is that, yeah, it's the Balkans weapon mod, is that, am I, am, am I getting the name wrong? I think I have that name right, um, yeah, but there are so many cool weapons in the game, um, so I'd really like to try them out. So in any case, what we need then is, oops, and I'm doing lots of strange things in the chat there by accident, um, we need to get a lot of wood going, so miscellaneous blocks, we need some wood, oops, I, I keep hitting E while I'm selecting the chat. Uh, do we have sticks in here? Not really, but we have some, and we have a crafting table, so you know what that means. It's condenser time. Crafting table, 
And, uh, let's see, what can we use here? Redstone! That's two, that's four crafting tables. And that's all we need, really, uh, four crafting tables. Now let's take this and we'll make two sticks from this. Um, and then wooden planks. Sure, we'll, we'll turn wooden planks into sticks. Excellent, okay. Uh, now, what else? Uh, let's make a few more. Stick, let's make eight more sticks. And that should be enough to create an automatic crafting table. Uh, because we can make wooden gears like this. Yep, mm-hmm. And then we can make ourselves a nice little automatic crafting table here. Boom! Awesome, right? So, we're now going to uh, need some more sticks. We're going to need a lot of sticks. Um, so, let's just take uh, our wood here. And let's make a whole bunch of sticks. Right? There we are. And that's plenty of wooden gears. It's not enough, though, so we're just going to convert all this oak wood I have on me uh, into sticks at this point. Uh, so we can make a whole bunch of wooden gears and make a lot of uh, crafting tables. Now, it seems like a pretty big investment uh, in automatic crafting tables, but seriously, these things are epic. Uh, they really are the way to go for uh, automatic production of things. I mean, they are automatic crafting tables. Uh, it's all in the name there. But, anyways... Now we need to start using them. And I think that means we need a new room uh, for this uh, type of production. So we're going to go... How about this way? Sure. We're going to create another nice room. Here, we're going to go like this. We're going to go our usual 5x5 five five to start with, right? So we're going to dig all this stuff out. Uh... All around. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And here we are, right? But this time, we're going to go a little bit differently. We're going to make it much longer uh, in this direction. Because we want to have assembly lines, if you will, right? Uh, for producing items, certainly. So we need to have long uh, spaces to produce different items, I think. Uh, so this is, uh, my plan then. We're gonna have a nice long room. We'll pick up this iron while we're in here. Uh, and I'm gonna go grab some torches so we can light this up. Uh, is that in the tools chest? Yeah, torches. EMC 9. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. Uh, and we're gonna craft some torches with redstone. Woohoo! Alright. Man, the condenser is so useful. It's like the best item in the game. Alright, we're gonna put some torches there. We're gonna put a torch there. Uh, this may not be long enough, so we're actually gonna extend this back a couple blocks. Two more. Sure. This pick is pretty fast, too. I like it a lot. It's efficient. Anyways, here we are. And assembly room. Right? I think this is pretty nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. There we are. Like that. All right. So, that is our uh, assembly room then. We're going to need to make it taller uh, so that we can run around in it. And then, at the end of the episode here, because we're already almost ten minutes in... Uh, we're going to play around with some automatic, uh, automatic crafting tables and try to create at least one automatic item creator. So the idea there is we feed it raw materials and it gives us finished items. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a problem, making it three high. Because uh, a lot of this dirt is right on the edge of uh, the surface. It's right on the surface here. Could be a problem, but... There we go. We have a nice sealed off room that's three high. So, what do we want to produce? Uh, let's scroll through to the weapons uh, in the Balkans weapon mod. And let's look at our options. Uh, so we've got sickles. Um, 
we have uh, hammers, war hammers, battle axes, knives. Let's see, anything else in here? Mm, not a whole lot in this column. Mm, not too interested in some of these things, but a musket could be fun eventually to have. Flail, maybe? I don't know. The halberd seems like a fun one. Spears. I really can't make my mind up, guys. Uh, I think we're just going to go with the battle axe. The battle axe is pretty simple. Uh, so maybe we'll go with that. Uh, how about we make a uh, iron war hammer or iron battle axe uh, production center? Let's go with the battle axe. I'm not exactly sure how to use it, but... In order to craft the, uh, the battle axe, and this is a pretty simple one, we just need uh, five iron ingots and two sticks. So it's not complicated. We're only going to need uh, one automatic crafting table. We're going to need a chest, too, uh, to put items in. We're going to need a chest to take items out of. Uh, so let's get some of our chests out. So this is going to be the input chest. This is going to be the output chest right here. Uh, eventually, we're going to need size in the back here, too. Um, so we're going to have, my idea would be, like, one, two, three, four, and then eventually we would extend this way. So you have this back hole with materials in and materials out. So materials in would be right here, right? Uh, so what I'm thinking is we need some wooden transport pipes, uh, and we have some cobbles. So this is probably enough to do what we're going to do today. So, back here we need an automatic crafting table, right? So we're going to put this right here. And underneath it, we're going to put a redstone engine. With a torch below that, respectively. So, let's get ourselves a redstone engine, because we have a few left over from our previous quarry setup. Uh, when we thought redstone engines were when I thought... From when I thought that redstone engines were going to be able to power the quarry at a half decent speed. I didn't realize just how slow they were going to be. So, the redstone torch needs to go in the bottom. That needs to go there. And there we are. So, we have a working system to pull items in and pull items out. Uh, and then we need uh, something like this, right? But we need uh, another redstone engine to go like this no that's wrong all right hang on hang on let's do this right it needs to be like that and then it needs to go here and it needs to plug into that and really i shouldn't be using redstone torches for this i should be using levers levers are a lot easier to deal with um let's see levers 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 do i have any levers anywhere no i don't Fortunately, they're among the cheapest items in the game. And I don't even have sticks. Wow. Uh, let's get some wood out. Uh, wood. Okay. Sticks. Excellent. Okay. And cobble. We're gonna need more than that. Uh, two levers right now. So we'll go with two. Am I hearing a slime? Really? Where is this guy running around? Alright, let's put this down here. Or better yet, let's put it where we can see it. Uh, and turn the machine on and off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Alright. Let's put this right there. Let's put this right there. So if I were to turn this on right now, they would start pumping items in and out, right? Yeah, somewhere up there, there's a slime that I'm gonna need to attack once this is uh, once this is all said and done. Uh, but let's get out some iron. We're gonna get some for the actual crafting recipe, which would go like this and like that. That's a battle axe, right? So if I put in uh, to the in chest some items here, we should see them start to get pulled out. And they're going to fill up in this auto crafting table, right? Mm-hmm. Hang on, guys. I'm going to come up here and see what's hanging out. Am I really not hearing anything? I thought I heard a slime wandering around, but apparently not. 
anyways, back down here so we can watch the magic happen. You can see the sticks have filled up uh, the battle axe production. And now the iron is filling it up too. Uh, so it's trying to fill out our crafting recipe one item at a time. And then it's going to uh, fill it up here in a couple of ingots. We're going to stop it at this one. Yeah, it's got what it needs now. We're going to stop this one. So, it's going to craft the item. Yep. And voila! Battle axe. Excellent, right? So all we have to do is put in a material, go do something else, and it'll craft battle axes for us. So I think that's pretty cool, personally. Uh, so if we wanted a lot of battle axes, and I'm not saying we couldn't do this just with a quick crafting recipe, but if we wanted a lot of battle axes or there was a complicated recipe, uh, say the crossbow recipe, which takes a bow, um, and it takes... Uh, so this is a two-step one. Uh, so for that, we would need a Mark II auto crafting table, but we could have that... Uh, cra uh, wow, I'm messing with my words here. We could have that crafting uh, crossbows and bows all the time so we had a good supply, and we could have it constantly crafting crossbow bolts and stuff like that. Uh, so this is just really a test example. Uh, I mean, the battle axe is not a very complicated uh, item to make. But hey, we have one. I think that's pretty cool. Let's go try it out real quickly before we end the episode. But in any case, this is a good start. I think we uh, have a lot of cool things here. And obviously, this doesn't have to be the only thing we ever uh, do in this um, sort of mass production style thing. We don't only have to make weapons. Uh, we could make, you know, as I said earlier, the jungle tree industry. We could create a tree chopping uh, setup or something like that. Uh, but this was just something I thought would be uh, easy to do, but also fun to do. Uh, and that was a nice little test drive. So, that's the assembly room. That was a quick little test run for the Iron Battle Axe. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. This has been the Call Donut speaking. Goodbye, friends, and I will see you all next time with some more Tech It Classic.